So, the word telomere. Um, a lot of you know what this is, but I, I'm going to assume that some people in this audience, this is the first time they've ever heard of it, are here to find out what it is. Is there a question? Okay. Um, so, in order to explain what a telomere is, I'd like to first zoom in on a human being. And we see that a human is made up of a hundred trillion cells. And there's a lot of theories about why we age, and a lot of them say that we age because our cells age. And so if we can find a way to control the aging process in our cells, this should be a way of controlling the aging in us. If we zoom in any further, we see that every cell contains a nucleus. And inside that nucleus are the chromosomes, and those are where all the genes are that uh, give us our blue hair, hair blonde eye, blue hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, make some of us short, make some of us smart. And if we zoom in further, I want to focus specifically on a chromosome. And a chromosome is made up of two arms, at least a metaphase chromosome is made up of two arms, and it contains a single molecule, each arm contains a single molecule of DNA. And DNA is a, essentially a, a string of beads on a, a, a string of beads that's made up of units called bases, and a typical DNA molecule is about a hundred million bases long. And so it is found coiled up like a slinky, extending from one end of the chromosome all the way to the other end of the chromosome. All right, so the key of what I'm talking about today is what's at the very tips of these chromosomes, and that's what we call the telomere. A, a telomere, if we zoom in now and unravel the very tips of that, that slinky at the very tips of the chromosome, we see that a telomere is about 15,000 bases long. Remember, the whole chromosome is about 100 million bases long. Telomere is only about 15,000 bases long. At least it is when we we're first conceived. Now, as, as we, as, after we're conceived and our cells start to divide, our telomeres start to shorten. And as a result, when we become a newborn baby, we find that our telomeres have already shortened 5,000 bases. It started at 15,000 bases, now it's, it's, it's dropped to 10,000 bases. As we continue to grow further and develop into an adult, our telomere, we have more cell division and our telomeres shorten even further. And when, when the telomeres get down to about 5,000 bases, we essentially die of old age. So let me go over that again. We're conceived at 15,000 bases, we are born at 10,000 bases, and we die of old age at 5,000 bases. And there's absolutely nothing we can do about this right now. No matter how well you eat, no matter how much you exercise, no matter how much you do, everything your doctor tells you to do, you can't stop this telomere shortening. This is really the only clock that's ever been discovered that I'm aware of that, that controls aging. And there's a theoretical maximum that uh, exists where a lot of people have done research showing that we have a theoretical maximum of about 125 years. And the math that looking at how long telomere, how fast telomeres shorten and how fast cells divide very, uh, com comes very close to explaining this 125 th year theoretical maximum. So the key is, this is one of the reasons why we age. And this is what Sierra Science is, is trying to find a way to control. So when, we, when, when our cells divide, our telomeres get shorter by a very specific uh, increment each time. This graph here shows, oops, wrong button. This graph here shows pop, population doubling level. So essentially the x-axis here is just the number of times cells divide in a petri dish. When we take like human fibroblast cells and grow them in a petri dish, this is the kind of experiment we do for population doubling levels. And the y-axis here is just showing the length of the telomeres. So at the beginning, the telomeres are long, but they, in a very linear fashion with cell division, the telomeres get shorter. So this is a fairly accurate clock. You can take the length of a telomere, and you can tell how, approximately how many cell divisions have occurred. When we look at uh, uh, now cells from a person, and now the x-axis is the age of the person, and the y-axis again is the uh, uh, length of a telomere, we see that there still is that linear relationship, though a lot of times it's not quite as linear as this, but that's because there's other things that cause telomere shortening besides it's just simple cell division. Well, one is some, uh, people, some people are born with different lengths of telomeres, 
uh, cells will divide at different rates in, in different people. And then there's other things besides cell division, which I'll talk about sh a little later, that cause telomere shortening besides cell division. But it's still a very linear relationship. Our telomeres shorten. You, I can take blood from any of you and I can measure the length of your telomeres and I can tell you approximately how old you are and how long you have before you die of old age. Okay, so why do telomeres shorten? That's the next subject that I would like to talk about. And for the non-scientists here, I want to explain first that this is a process of DNA, during a process of DNA replication. Remember we have a cells, when the cells divide, all those chromosomes inside those cells have to be duplicated. And so the chromosomes have to be replicated through a process called DNA replication. And so to explain this, I want to say that DNA replication is a lot like laying, laying bricks on a brick wall. The bottom brick, layer of bricks here is the original chromosome, and this new layer of bricks that's being made is the new layer of chromosomes. Now this is a long, arduous process, because remember the, the chromosome is about 100 million bases long, and <clears throat> so this is going on and on. And also, this, this, if, this has to be accurate, because if any mistakes here would lead to mutations. But now what we're very interested in here is not what's happening in the middle of the chromosome, but what's happening at DNA replication towards the end of the chromosome, at the telomere. Now if you think about it, something really bad is going to happen here, and that's that the bricklayer cannot replicate the very end of the last place he was standing. This is kind of true for what's happening inside of our cell. The bricklayer is called DNA polymerase 1, and, and the cells cannot uh, replicate the very end. Now, I want to point out that no wear and tear occurred here. Nothing chewed this telomere away. You hear a lot of times in the news, people will compare chromosomes to shoelaces, and, and the telomeres are the caps on the shoelaces, and our telomeres get shorter just in the same way that the, the cap wears away. But it's really not, at least this basal level of telomere shortening, is not a wear and tear mechanism. It's simply due to the fact that we have, that our cells lack the ability to replicate the very end of the chromosome. So it's more of a passive process, not an active process. But again, that cell has to divide, and when that cell divides, the chromosome has to replicate again, and the chromosome is going to get shorter. And so cells are going to divide and divide and divide, and telomeres are going to get shorter and shorter and shorter. And again, there's absolutely nothing we can do about this. No matter how well we eat or exercise or do everything that our doctor tells us to do, we cannot stop this telomere shortening. So <clears throat> I said that we can't stop it, but we can accelerate the telomere shortening. And that's anything related to an unhealthy lifestyle. Okay, so obesity, lack of exercise, uh, psychological stress, or smoking. All these things will cause the production of free radicals that can uh, cleave, specifically cleave telomeres and cause accelerated shortening of telomeres. So we can do something about this. We can eat healthy. We can exercise. We can uh, do meditation. I'm sure a lot of you heard about the press releases about how meditation is controlling telomere length. This is why. It's, it's controlling this accelerated telomere shortening. And then we also should also take our antioxidants because that will help prevent those free radicals from cleaving the DNA. Now, I call this the accelerated telomere shortening, which we can control. I recommend everybody live as healthy a lifestyle as you can so that you're around for when uh, cures for aging are around. Um, but there's still nothing that can uh, control this basal level of telomere shortening. And that's what my company is trying to work on. And let me point out that um, <clears throat> Even if this isn't something that's causing aging, our lifespans are clearly limited by the length of our telomeres. And so something has to be done to solve the telomere shortening, even if there's another thing that's going to cure aging. So how can we prevent telomere shortening? This is the, the thing I was saying you can't do right now, but hopefully we can in the future, uh, with one exception. Um, <clears throat> and the simple, taking into account the fact that our reproductive cells do not age. And we kind of know that because if, if the theories are right that we age because our cells age, then if all of our cells age, then our children should be born as old as we are. But they're born younger than we are. So that means that our reproductive cells aren't aging. And as it happens, telomere shortening doesn't occur in our reproductive cells. And so this is one of the things that we discovered at Geron Corporation is due to the presence, the production of an enzyme called telomerase. And to explain this cartoon, 
This is the enzyme that we discovered at Geron Corporation. Uh, this is the DNA molecule shown as a double helix right now. Here's the telomere. And telomerase is shown as a factory here. And what it's doing is it's lengthening the telomere. So that's what telomerase does. And it's found only in our reproductive cells. 